My name is John Chandler, and I want to tell you about a startup I'm working for called Sense AI. But first, I'm going to tell you about my stepmother. She's a great stepmother. She's a great grandmother to my stepnephew, as you can see from this photo. And she's a great attorney. She possesses one additional quality that makes her unique. She's always cold. Now, she lives in Atlanta, so you wouldn't think that would be too big a deal. But she's the kind of cold where you pack two sweatsuits to go to Florida in July for a beach vacation. And because she's always cold, she's always getting into arguments with people who don't think it's cold. And there's no great way to settle those arguments because you don't have a thermometer nearby. And you can't use the smartphones app because that just gives you the temperature for the nearest airport. And you can't use the thermostat on the wall because that gives you some aspirational, idealized temperature, maybe not where you're sitting. So what you need is a convenient local temperature measure. And we'd like to use cell phones. And it turns out that cell phone batteries have temperature sensors attached to them. That's because about 10 years ago, lithium ion batteries were bursting into flames and the FCC freaked out and mandated that every device with a lithium ion battery had to have at least two temperature sensors. So can we use that to get ambient temperature? Well, it's not a solved problem as you can see from the screenshots of this app. This is an app that shows you all the sensors available from your cell phone. So you've got a gravity sensor, a linear acceleration sensor, a proximity sensor, but you don't have ambient temperature. And that's because those sensors are right on the battery. The challenge in getting ambient temperature from battery sensors relates to another story. Probably about 10 years ago at Thanksgiving, we had a turkey that was taking a really long time to go from uncooked to cooked. In addition to a turkey problem, we had an appetizer problem. We didn't have any appetizers. So everybody was kind of freaking out. And they were drinking Manhattans. Now, as we got drunker and drunker and my dad, the host, started to panic about this slow cooking turkey, he asked me, hey, can you figure out when this turkey is going to be done? And he had a bunch of temperature measurements, and it turns out you can solve this. You can figure out when an object is going to reach a certain temperature based on a couple of things. You need Newton's heat equation, and you need to know the temperature of the environment, and you need to know the temperature of the object at a certain point in time. And if you have these things, you can predict when it's going to reach a given temperature. So I did this, and even with my rudimentary physics skills, I was able to figure out when the turkey was going to be safe to eat. Now, if you can do this with a turkey, why can't you do this with a cell phone? The answer is, cell phones are a lot more complicated. You've got the battery, which changes temperature as it loses charge. You've got the CPU, which produces a lot of heat when it's working. You've got the screen, which gives off a ton of heat when it's on, but no heat when it's off. And all of this is made of a bunch of mis different materials, so it's a lot harder. But you can solve this problem. You need a special team to do it. You need electrical engineers to know about the sensors and the material science. You need biomathematics to understand the heat transfer models, particularly if someone is using the phone. And you need data science to help make sense of the tremendous amount of information being used and produced. And so Sense AI has put together this team and worked on this problem. And we've got a solution. That solution is Kelvin Sense. Kelvin Sense is an app that will give you the ambient temperature around your phone, taking into account all of those complicated pieces that I had just mentioned. And you can imagine Beth using an app like this, being cold in a conference room, and being able to show people why she's cold. So the first thing we're going to try to do is to get this into as many weather applications as possible, so that rather than needing the Kelvin Sense app, Beth could just use her favorite weather app and know what the temperature was right where she was. Right now, all of these weather apps just have the temperature from the airport. So you can use Kelvin Sense for personal applications. You can also use it for weather forecasting. This is a graph of the temperature from the weather stations within five kilometers of my house. Forecasters want a lot of weather stations so they can make better predictions, but you can still see a temperature fluctuation of about eight degrees. If we increase the number of weather stations by orders of magnitude, we could do a better job forecasting weather. If we're going to use Kelvin Sense for weather forecasting, however, we're going to need to figure out if you're indoors or outdoors. This map shows data for one of our users, and you can see they spent a lot of time indoors in Atlanta. They have some outdoor measurements in Atlanta. And you can even see them driving up to North Georgia, where we've got regular measurements giving us the temperature inside their car. So we can see a lot about a person with this kind of data. And this figure shows a heat map of a building for every hour of an entire year. Imagine you were in charge of running the heating and cooling system for a large company or institution. If you had accurate indoor temperature measurements, you could figure out where the hot and cold spots are and keep everyone more comfortable while saving yourself a lot of money. This graph shows the indoor measurements for a phone that a user just let sit on a desk for four days. On the bottom graph, the HVAC fluctuations are particularly noticeable. You can actually see the heat turning on when the temperature gets too cold, driving the temperature up and turning off, allowing the temperature to fall back down again. We can also benefit companies like Starbucks by providing them environmental data. 
they're working on an addition to their app that will let you place your drink order from your phone and then start traveling to the Starbucks. When the app determines it's the right time, it'll place your order with the store, ensuring that your order is ready the moment you walk in. If Starbucks knew the ambient temperature while you were placing your order, it helped them target ads. And we can use this for fraud detection. Because of the way heat moves from a person's hand into a phone, and because of the way the phone shakes around, we can tell if a human is holding the phone or if the phone is being managed by a bot. So is the person trying to get into your bank account actually a person, or are they just some kind of fraudulent software? So right now we've got about 250 users. This graph is about a week out of date. So anyone who has an Android phone should install Kelvin Sense Thermometer and run it a lot so that you can see the ambient temperature and so that we can collect more data that helps make better weather predictions. Make sure to register so you can have views of all your own data and get help with support. And so that's the startup. We help people to settle family arguments. We help forecasters to make better weather predictions. We can help advertisers to give people more relevant ads. And we can help banks prevent fraud. But we probably won't help you have more appetizers. So look for us, Kelvin Sense Thermometer by Sense AI. Take the temperature anywhere, but also pack some snacks.